Hey kid, are you tired of your mindless video games? Nah. Hey man, it's been eight hours. Are you tired of your mindless video games yet? Yeah. Oh, good. Do you know how gears work? Nope. Well then, Swap Gear is a toy just for you. As you can see, children lack exposure and education regarding science, technology, and engineering concepts. This not only stunts their growth as individuals, causing an underdeveloped understanding of the world around them and no enthusiasm to investigate and discover answers about the world, but it foretells America's dire future. Current STEM education in the K-12 curriculum is appalling, and America's influence on the world stage is slipping, with America having been surpassed as leaders in scientific research, not to mention the long-term effect it has on the development and infrastructure within our borders in the decades to come. As our government's policy has shown little desire to expand the budget on improving this, without the childhood enthusiasm towards science and engineering, the future generations to come are unlikely to push for change. That's where Swap Gear comes in. Over the last few months, our team comprising of Joe Beardsley, Brian Heidler, Alex Sellers, Chip Stocks, and Robert Landaverde has worked tirelessly to design a toy that will inspire children to seek out the world of engineering. We took inspiration from existing toys such as RC cars, however, we wanted to do something unique. We accomplished this feat by designing a toy pickup truck with a swappable gear train, showcasing the effect gear ratios have on speed and torque. The swap gear was tested to ensure durability and longevity of its critical components, the gear train and the rear shaft, using fatigue failure theories and analysis using MATLAB and SOLIDWORKS. For the constraints, the device must provide three different gear ratio options, and to open the gear compartment, the power switch must be toggled off. Also, the parts must conform to the standards set by the American Society for Testing and Materials and the Customer Product Safety Commission. The design must use readily available parts and materials when possible to minimize cost. Our target range is $100. Parts must fit within a 2 by one by one foot body, and the toy must also weigh no more than 10 pounds. Each replaceable gear should have a minimum lifespan of 1 million cycles, and the body of the truck and non-critical parts are to be made from plastic. The design went through multiple iterations, from deciding how many parts should be swappable, spur versus bevel gears, how best to mount the motor to the truck body, to whether or not the design should have monster truck tires. We ultimately decided for a simple spur gear mesh with a protective shroud disconnecting the battery circuit before the child can interact with the gears. For the final design, one gear is fixed to the 3 16 shaft connected to the rear tires and supported by two 2.5 inch bearings. The body of the truck is composed of ABS plastic with a loadable pickup bed that can carry up to our target load of 5 pounds. The three available gear ratios consist of 1 to 1, 2 to 1, and 3.25 to 1. By intent, the truck would be unable to climb a 20 degree slope in the highest gear ratio with the bed fully loaded. The gears must be swapped to the lowest configuration for the added torque in order for the truck to reach the top of the ramp. The estimated weight is 10 pounds and the final dimensions are 15 inches long, 10 inches tall, and 10 inches wide. The swap gear was tested using statics calculations before writing MATLAB code to test a range of variables to fine tune the achievable speed and torque of the toy. Then MATLAB was used to size the gears using AGMA standards. The factor of safety for all gear combinations was found to be at least four. Along with the gears, the rear shaft was expected to be another critical point. After deciding locations for the gear and bearings, the shaft was tested for yielding against a full load and found to have a factor of safety of 1.5 using Goodman criteria. Future iterations could have swappable tires to demonstrate traction and four-wheel drive action all available in expansion sets. The current iteration of the device does not include remote control functionality, but this could also be a future feature. To conclude, we have achieved a toy that successfully demonstrates the principles of torque and speed to children while being built to withstand all the stress tests kids will place on the truck with their newfound love of mechanical engineering, all for the reasonable price of $100. This toy is not for children three years of age or younger due to choking hazard standards set by the Customer Product Safety Commission. Side effects may include severe interest in engineering, a very good salary, a collection of fast cars, a love of gears, and mechanical systems design class.